Shalom, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Brakatha to my brothers and to all my sisters, Shalom, Yahweh Shemar, Elathan Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. I'm priest and officer Galawan in Trinidad and this is the ISUPK under commanding General Yahana. Right? Since 1969, we have been teaching at blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians. We are the lost 12 tribes of Israel. Right? And according to the Bible, the people in Venezuela. They are the Asherites, according to the Bible, or Asha, according to the Bible. You understand? So I just want to bring out today's topic about what Trump is doing to Venezuela. You understand? Again, these heathen nations always oppressing the tribes of Israel. You understand? We like we the oldest people on the face of the earth. The Israelites are the oldest people on the face of the earth who's being oppressed. Not just by Chinese, not just by East Indians, not just by white people, but by all the races on the face of the earth. We just be oppressed by. You understand? Know like a, another race could say they must be oppressed too, no problem. But we, the Israelites, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, all the races on the face of the earth does oppress us. You understand? Know so what we're going on right now, and apart from this pandemic. That is going on the coronavirus. You know, some people eating unlawful food is why it's bringing out this pandemic. No, no 5G. You know, some, so apart from what is going on with this pandemic, Trump is sending his military troops in Venezuela to oppress the people in Venezuela. Because why? He wants to take over Venezuela. You know, some, he wants to control Venezuela. Now again, some people might say what Trump is doing is lawful. But what Trump is doing, it is it, not um, lawful. You understand? Trump is bullying other countries. That is what Trump is doing. The Trump uh, or, or America, America does bully other countries because of their military. They are like the world police because of their military. You understand? What they're doing, they should not be doing it because guess what? America does see what russia had did to them with their elections they say russia um tamper with the election and interfere with the elections but guess what what trump is doing right now to president maduro to president nicolas maduro in venezuela you understand he's tampering with the elections down there in venezuela because why he wants to take over venezuela and control venezuela because of the amount of oil and money that venezuela have that is the real reason why trump is doing that because the amount of money and oil that venezuela have that's what the bible says you understand so I, I have some articles here to read right but the first thing first i want, want I just want to get one um one scripture i want to pull out right of course because of america and the military they feel as the world police so they feel like they're going to other countries and bully them you understand? But this, this is what the scripture says here about the white man and his military. This is what the scripture says here. This, this is Revelation chapter 13 verse 4. And they worship the dragon which gave power unto the beast. Right now according to the Bible the dragon. Right now this is a vision that John was seeing. So the dragon. Right what John was seeing. He was seeing like, like in Game of Thrones. The dragon was flying in the sky. And breathe the breath of fire out his mouth right so john was seeing this vision but what john was really seeing is the white man's military flying in the sky and dropping bombs right just like the bomb he dropped on hiroshima and nagasaki and blew it up that is what john was seeing you're seeing the military jets the white man's military jet flying in the sky and that bomb that coming out is fire right that is what john was seeing so this scripture here they're saying who can and they worship the dragon which gave power unto the beast. You understand? The beast is the so-called white man. You understand? This beast here is the so-called white man. So the white man, his military, the dragon, gave power unto him. The white man's military is what has given him power. You understand? And they worship the beast saying, who is like unto the beast? You understand? So people worship this beast saying, who is like unto this beast? You understand? Right now everybody's saying America is the world, the, the world police because of the military and the might that they have with the military. The might that they have with the dragon. Right? And who is able to make war with him? 
You understand? That is what they're saying. Who is able to make war with this with the white man's military? You understand? Who is able to make war with him? You understand? So it's saying that I have um just had an article here I want to read. You understand? What's going on in America? Well, well first I want to read this article here. Right? It says Venezuela. Now this is an old article, it's an article from last year. Alright? They're not going to read the article of this year with Trump um putting sanctions on Venezuela with the oil or the gas, right? So this article here it says Venezuela accused the UK of denying Venezuelans food health care by blocking the gold deposits. You understand? So it says, you know, Britain is denying millions of Venezuelans food and health care by blocking access to the South American countries. Gold deposits at the Bank of England, says the Venezuelan foreign minister, right? Ar Arieza, right? Arieza is his name, the Venezuelan foreign minister. Now, speaking during a visit to Moscow, the Russian capital, Arieza said, um, at the Bank of England had confiscated over $1.5 billion in Venezuelan overseas gold deposits and refused to return it even though the Latin American countries was grappling with food shortages and deteriorating healthcare services. Right? So now the, the Bank of England have $1.5 billion dollars in gold you understand know for venezuela you know some venezuela deposited money in the bank of england and the bank of england does not want to give the money back to venezuela now venezuelans and them see the the president of venezuela president nicolas maduro saying that money is what it is i have to use to give the people of venezuela food and health care but england does not want to give them back their own money that they have you understand? So you see how when I say all the other all the races oppressing the Israelites, you understand? Why is it doing um Nicholas Maduro that just to what control take over his um the country of um Venezuela? So it says um in the Bank of England there are one thousand three hundred and fifty nine million euros, right, which is equivalent to one point five billion dollars in Venezuelan gold blocked. Right, they say that this is blocked now. They also say that the Trump administration has announced sanctions against the government of Venezuela, President Nicolas Maduro, and blocked the assets of its officials across the world in a bid to channel them to the country's self proclaimed interim president, who has also been trying to alt Maduro since his re election. In January right so this is um the Venezuelan said the Bank of England was only one of the European and international financial institutions that had confiscated a total of 5 billion euros in Venezuelan deposits upon an order by the US president Donald Trump right so Donald Trump now is telling the um the other people where Venezuelans have their deposits so Donald Trump telling the other countries do not give back Venezuela and the money that they have, right? But the president Nicolas Maduro is saying we need that money so I can provide health care for the people of Venezuela and give them food. So you see why Venezuela in a crisis is nothing to is no fault of Nicolas Maduro. Is President Donald Trump of America the sanctions that he's putting on Venezuela, right? So that's one time. Give her a little scripture on that. Alright. Right, so this is Genesis chapter 49, verse 20. Right? And out of Asha, right? Asha is the Venezuelan. Right? Out of Asha, his bread shall be fat, and he shall yield royal dainties. Right? Dainties. Right? So this is what's going on here now. Royal dainties like gold, silver, um, diamond. That is what Venezuela have. Venezuela have royal dainties. You understand? All these assets that they have. 
America wants those assets. America wants those royal dainties too. You understand? That is what America is looking at for. Also, it have our next article, a present article. All right, let me see the article here. All right. This is our present article where they're talking about the Venezuela petrol crisis worsens as the U.S. orders supply cuts. Right, it says the U.S. has asked the fuel suppliers to avoid sending petrol to Venezuela despite the worsening humanitarian crisis. Right, it says doctors, some doctors walk near a close petrol station during a nationwide quarantine due to the coronavirus outbreak in Caracas, Venezuela, where a fuel shortage is, disrupt, is disrupting the food shipments and preventing the sick and doctors from getting to hospital. Right? So because of this, the fuel shortage, doctors can't get to hospital. And some food equipment um, shipments can't come, right? Because of this fuel shortage that um, the President Donald Trump has put sanctions on Venezuela, right? So it also says here, um, petrol shortages in Venezuela are worsening after the United States officials told the foreign firms to refrain from supplying fuel to the sanctioned South American nation and only provide diesel. Right? Since the late since late 2019, US officials have asked most of Venezuela's fuel suppliers to avoid sending patrol to the crisis stricken nation in the latest round of calls in early March between the U.S. officials and oil firms, right? They repeated the ban despite the worsening humanitarian conditions in the countries, right? So again, Donald Trump is paying sanctions on them. You understand? He put sanctions on them and he just keep paying sanctions on them to keep oppressing them. So that why? Because um, he don't want President Nicolas Maduro to um, run the country. You understand? Because why? He can't control the president, Nicolas Maduro. If he could have control him, you understand? And when I say control him, if, if Donald Trump tell President Nicolas Maduro to jump, he go jump. That's what I mean. Every little thing, the, the, the Americans and them, they want to control. So because he can't get his way with Nicolas Maduro, right? He want to go in the country and take over. Right? And put sanctions on them. So, in the article now, now these are um, at today's article, right? I continue it reading. It says a U.S. official acknowledged pressure has been exerted to some oil firms in lines with efforts to get them to unwind their business in Venezuela or else face the U.S. secondary sanctions. Right. So in 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 other words, the what it's saying here, it want these other um, countries that supplying to them, right? Because some countries supplying to them, and the president Donald Trump said, "Hey, if it's still supplying to them, we will put secondary sanctions on you all, right?" So, no, remember before they said diesel, um, they only selling diesel, right? Now it's saying here, diesel is mainly used. For power generation and bulk transport of cargo, including food. While petrol is mostly used for personal travel. Right? So the petrol that Donald Trump does not want to give them is where people have had to travel to and fro. This is why doctors cannot, some doctors cannot get to the hospitals. You understand? Because they have no petrol. Because the diesel is mostly used for the shipments. And to power generators. Right? So it says, you know, with the coronavirus pandemic wrecking havoc across the world, Washington has come under pressure from the United Nations Human Rights Chief and the U.S. legislators.
to relax the sanctions on countries like Venezuela and Iran to facilitate the shipment of humanitarian goods. You understand? So the the United Nations human rights is telling America hey, relax the sanctions that you have on these countries now. Look at the crisis Venezuela is going through. You understand? The whole world is going through a pandemic right now because we're eating crab and pork and bats and maniku. So the Lord sending curses upon us, which is curses like the coronavirus. The whole world is under this pandemic now because we're eating unlawful foods. Look at Venezuela. You don't put sanctions on them already. You're putting more sanctions on them again. Plus, they had to face the pandemic. You know, so the humanitarian rights trying to tell Trump and his administrators, you know, and to relax the sanctions, just ease off of the sanctions so they could get a little breather, a little ease. You know, son? so but Trump didn't want to hear that, right? So, just a little bit more, it says the official speaking on the condition, right? said Washington was prepared to accept a limited level of diesel supplies but wants to see a curtailing, right, meaning a less of petrol shipments to Venezuela as part of Trump's maximum pressure campaign to overthrow Maduro. You understand? The U.S. officials have said privately Trump is frustrated at the failure of his Venezuelan policy to break Maduro's grip on power. You understand? So Trump really trying to get into Venezuela. You understand? And just take over. Trump trying to overthrow Maduro. You understand? So again, America seeing what Russia did to them in their elections. That they are against it. But Trump doing it bold facedly. Trump actually coming out and saying, hey, I go in in and I go and overthrow Maduro. You understand? I go and put sanctions on them where he he could just leave. Or I could just overthrow it with my military power. You understand? That is what's going on here right now. So Trump again is paying more sanctions again on, on the, the Asherites and them. Again, it's about um a next scripture here. Right? For Asher, this is Deuteronomy chapter 33 and verse 24. And of Asha he said. Let Asha be blessed with children, right? Let Asha be blessed with children. Let them Venezuelans and them be blessed with children, right? Let him be acceptable to his brethren, right? Let him be acceptable to his brethren and let him dip his foot in oil, right? Let him dip his foot in oil. Right now, Venezuela, the amount of oil that Venezuela have, that Venezuela sitting on oil, if the media only put out the, the correct amount of oil that Venezuela have, all eyes around the world is going to watch Venezuela. They ain't going to watch them Arabs and them no more. They ain't going to watch them Arabs and them no more. The amount of oil that Venezuela is sitting on right now, you understand? If the media really put out the amount of oil that Venezuela is sitting on, on right now, all eyes is going to be on Venezuela. You understand? That's what the Lord said. The Lord said he's going to dip his foot in oil. You understand? The Asherites and them, that is Venezuela. You understand? The, he is going to dip his foot in oil. Right? That is what the Lord said. He's going to dip his foot in oil. Right? From Colombia to Uruguay, that is the whole the tribe of Asha from Colombia to Uruguay. Venezuela is a part of one of one of those countries from Colombia to Uruguay. Venezuela is a part of the, the, the Asha in the Bible. They are part of the lost 12 tribes of Israel. Right? Them Venezuelans that come across here to Trinidad, running from the hardship of not President Nicolas Maduro, but running from the hardship of what America is doing to Venezuela. Because what's going on in Venezuela right now, you cannot blame the president of Venezuela. You have to blame America. You have to blame Donald Trump and his administration putting sanctions on Venezuela. You know, and that is why Venezuela is running down to the ground so much. So you people out there who are saying Nicolas Maduro is at fault. Nicolas Maduro is not at fault. 
Nicolas Maduro love the people of Venezuela. You understand? The people who are supposed to blame is Donald Trump, not Nicolas Maduro. You understand? Nicolas, um, Nicolas Maduro has nothing to do with what is going on in Venezuela right now. It's President Donald Trump of America. Alright, so with that, Shalom Israel. Shalom. Yabashim Shabakta.